Next time, I'll remember what the meat was to Chris. So, you're Aloy. One of them, maybe. I didn't fight alone. You're Maria. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital? West will take you to it? They can try. No, what I mean is, there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Jeans, they'll open the border? I suppose. But I can't spare any braves to help you. Who said I needed help? You'll clear the valley, all by yourself. I'm good with a bow. For your sake? Better than good, I hope. I should be going. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. The Karja border is sealed. There was a time I would have called that a good thing. Corruption coming off them like smoke. Time to clear them out. drives the machines mad. Might find a way to use it someday. the sign of corruption. Time to see if the Karja Fort will let me pass over the mountains. Turn back, girl! These machines are dangerous!
fun risking its ass down here. So, will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates! And send word to Captain Balan. Where are you headed, girl? West! To Meridian! Open the gates! The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. That's what happens when you defy the Sundown. Every minute I'm stuck here costs me good shards. If I don't get my guns to buy a suit, what's going on here? Well, bandits well, trying to get past me somewhere. And so is Aaron, that other Outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. Merchants who suffer. Good luck getting through, Outlander. Halt! Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. And Ursa? You mean Aaron's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Aaron. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Aaron, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive! This, uh, we should celebrate! The drink's on me! We need to talk, alone. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. I heard what happened to Ursa. Special to me. <laughs> Special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. And now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead here I am. Stumbling around in them. Give yourself some time. You'll find your footing. Not at the rate I've been drinking. And what would your sister have said about that? I know, you're right. A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was... attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. And some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of- What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Olin. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. But, I mean, this- I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just... He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I guess. As long as I'm there to win. Okay, okay. Come on. Hey, so come back. All these places about. this way. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. That girl. Is she a man? Apparently they're letting anyone. Vengeance! Blood for blood! Vengeance for Ursa! How long will Avad hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Aaron, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? 
One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself! Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass! What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Okay, how are we gonna get in? Oh, that was subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. That other than this rope, let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that? Call it a day, girl. Looks big and heavy. Let's give it a little push. <clears throat> I did say not to break anything, didn't I? Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. A map. The glyphs show places he visited. Bend their throats and leave their corpses to prune in the sun. They took his wife and child captive. They? Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. There's your proof. Read the last page. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? The focus. It... Reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus, it's the same? The device is the same, but... And see through each other's focuses, too. Like, looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm fat... Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I, not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Redridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Redridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do. It's Aaron. What are you waiting for? Got too much already. What, you don't feel like talking? What are you doing out here all alone? I'm not gonna risk their lives. 
I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. <sighs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight, at least. Don't get used to it. Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. No one knows for sure. Her best men. But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Ert. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Project? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the Almost there. Alright, this is it. Our soldiers have been over it. Maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. What do you see there? This stain forms a line, as if blood dripped off the edge of something, like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? Help me, fools! I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, 
use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. Those rocks, they're shattered. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. These look like vanguard weapons. There's no blood on them. Ursus men didn't fight back. So much blood. A lot of people died here. A massacre. What are those leather straps? Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. <laughs> Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. This is Ursus' helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but it must have been here. All this trickery. For what? It feels like it's just a torch in me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it, on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursus' face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut, as if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough. So it could have been anyone. Even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King. Well, follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. And now outlanders from the side of the by some outlander woman. I annex two hours. Miss Nora goes to the front of the Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. Among the Osara, a warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Asuram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. Right. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please. 
Help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Maraud, for one. Vanguard now. Errand? The boys are drunk and wrecked since the bastard got his sister. No sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. <sighs> Has to be Murad's guy. Durval's thugs must have made it. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliffe. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. Machines. Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back.
after Vol's men. It's about to go. Vaal says you gotta eat dirt. Get through. It's blocked. Must be one of Durval's paralyzers. Stay put until I find a way past it. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Try to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but. No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> no. Now listen. Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. 
You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Ursa. No. Please. I won't let you down. I promise. What's Durval learned from all his tinkering? Do I even want to know? Find her vault too. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Durval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean... Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. I think. It's by the edge of the mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? We can't worry about that now. All that matters is that we catch her killer before he strikes again. How much like her you sound. Find Durval and bring him before me. This is the place! You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you! Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll if shut that up. bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm. Maybe there's some way I can open this window. That's a lot of blades. For the bomb. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force, I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Uh. We 
did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Durval said he'd make a Vod watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace, and that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Boot tracks, with just a bit of blaze in them. Able-bodied adventurers, hurry up! Preferably Get to the no fire and shut family. up a bucket line! But I'm not choosing. What happened? I haven't had a blast like that since the liberation. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. There's smoke yeah, rising from the edge of the mesa. Sun. Are we under attack? The huh? tracks lead inside. Uh, Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval assembled. Durval did find a way into the palace. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. Didn't? I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Spotted something. Haven't you got anything better to do? yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Okay, no more sneaking. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you!
like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Ah, those majestic, murderous glint hawks. You can get a machine to do it for you. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Ah, who's majestic? As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. Were you and Ursa, you know... I suppose it's obvious how I feel, but we couldn't be together. The union of the Sun King and an Osiram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. It's time for me to go. Uh, w wait a moment. As I said, I'd hoped you'd consider staying in Meridian. And why is that? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. It might be worth taking a moment to examine what you just said. You just lost Ursa, a woman who stood at your side and could easily be described as strong, shrewd, and capable. It's pretty clear how you felt about her. And now you're asking me to take her place, is this- By the sun, you do indeed share much with Ursa. Including a withering eye for foolishness. 
Ah. Please, accept my apologies. Seems I'm getting ahead of myself. I will be forever grateful to you, Aloy. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I knew. But she also told me to grow up. And I guess... I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Two? Huh. She likes me. Thank you.